First, thank you to all the new subscribers. Let's get today's video 200 thumbs up. Remember to check out the community tab. That's where we have a right old laugh on this channel. So to the morning Celtic FC news. Matt O'Reilly faces a five-day delay before he will learn his World Cup fate. Celtic's Danish under-21 midfielder has not been included in manager Kasper Juhlmann's preliminary 21-man squad for the Qatar showpiece, which will run from November 20 to December 18. However, there are still five places up for grabs when the final travelling party of 26 must be delivered to FIFA by Sunday for the global extravaganza, which will kick off a week later with the opening encounter between the hosts and Ecuador. The Danish Supremo is holding off finalising his pool until the last round of club fixtures. Celtic FC transfer news and one of the most exciting pieces of news to come out of Celtic's recent AGM was confirmation from Angie Postacoglu that the club will be undertaking an aggressive new transfer strategy as we aim to bridge the gap between ourselves and Europe's biggest clubs. Chief Financial Officer Chris McKay also spoke at the AGM of the importance of Champions League qualification on a consistent basis and confirmed exciting new plans for revamped format of the tournament from the 2024-25 season, which could open the door to lucrative new revenues for the club. The high-flying Celtic FC will lock horns with Motherwell on Wednesday night and must aim for three out of three wins so far this term. They already met once at Fir Park three weeks back, and the relentless Celts registered an emphatic 4-0 triumph in the Scottish League Cup quarterfinal. The reverse tie at Parkhead finished 2-1 in favour of the hosts, and the struggling steel men have a mountain to climb to grab a result against Angie Postecoglou's juggernaut. Joe Hart has conceded a few of late, but his presence between the sticks strengthens the defensive third given his experience and leadership traits. Benjamin Segrist must wait for his chances in cup contests. Right fullback Josip Juranovic should return to the starting 11 after making way for Anthony Rolston. Cameron Carter-Vickers offers resilience and composure in deep defence, and the gaffer might restore Carl Starfelt replacing Moritz Jens. Alexandra Bernabai has been below par in recent games and the in-form Greg Taylor is expected to reclaim the first-team status down the left. Matt O'Reilly has done a stupendous job in a makeshift number six role. He is regaining possession in the centre of the pitch and staging attacking moves from his deep-lying playmaking role. Rio Hat 8 must operate in a box-to-box -box role with his pace and swift skills, however, David Turnbull could make way for veteran Aaron Moy as the latter remained as an unused substitute last weekend. But the Scotsman, as well as Oliver Abildgaard, might get involved as second-half substitutes. Celtic are well equipped in the attacking third and the Aussie boss has rotated his attackers extensively so far this season across competitions. Saad Haksabanovic deserves a run of games from the right-hand flank, following his brace against Dundee United, also the flair of Felipe Jota makes him irreplaceable on the left. The likes of Dizen Maeda, Liel Abida, and James Forrest, are also there to run riots down the wings. Kyogo Furuhashi might get the nod ahead of Jorgos Jakumakis, particularly after his late decider before Abida put the game to bed in injury time. So what will the score be? Can you really see us dropping points? Tell me your score predictions in the comments. <laughs>